Hi guys and welcome to Journey to Journeyman episode number 22. On this episode, I mill out a T-nut on my 618 for the quick change tool post on my South Bend 10K. For those of you who watched the uh, sneak preview, yes, I went to Shars and bought a quick change tool post for this atlet, I mean for the uh, South Bend 10K. And it needs a T-nut milled out and we'll do that on the 618 for the South Bend 10K. Quick shout out to uh, Jim Dedman over there at uh, Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Uh, he sent me a viewer appreciation gift. Thank you very much, Mr. Dedman. Uh, we'll take a look at that, and then we'll take a look at our order of operations. I got the measurements from measuring the old T-nut and measuring the slot. Well, the first thing we'll do is we'll lay out the scribe lines onto the stock. Then we'll rough cut that on the bandsaw. Then we'll mill it to the scribe lines to square up the stock. Then we'll mill it to the T-scribe lines. Then we'll test fit that on the South Bend 10K. We'll file it to fit. Then we'll show the part to the ladies. P.S. When I say ladies, I mean my wife. Guys, I love my new South Bend uh, 10K, um, but there's a couple things that keep me from using it. Number one is it's uh, not tied down, it kind of wobbles around. So I'm going to take care of that a little bit today and tooling, but uh, let's get rid of that wobble. All right, got her anchored down now. Still on the dollies, but got some anchored into the floor. And nice and solid now. So now all I need is some tooling. We can start using this beautiful lathe. I decided to go with the wedge type of uh, quick change tool post. They have the piston type and the wedge type. It, it costs a little bit more, but from what I understand, it, it's a better way of securing the tools. It was well packaged and covered in, um, I guess you guys call it Cosmoline. I don't know, it's a big thick oil, but uh, Got some WD-40 out and start cleaning her off. I was just going to make a T-nut from scratch, but then I figured out they made the bolt in there uh, metric. So I have to take this big old thick piece of metal they gave and start whittling it down. Since the threaded hole is right in the middle of that piece, I have to cut equal pieces off both sides and then mill it relative to the hole into the center to keep everything centered up. There was quite a bit of material to take off and so I bandsawed it off and now what I'm doing is just taking it to the scribe lines to make it the right width overall. And this takes quite a few passes because that milling attachment can't take off big hunks, hunks that is. I usually take off between five and ten thousandths per pass. It may not look like it, but those passes, once you get done, they're very, very smooth. Even though you can see the lines on the, on the film, it is very smooth. Since this is pretty square from the factory, I decide to go ahead and do the entire T on one side before moving to the other side. And also as I started coming down with the uh, end mill, it seemed a lot more efficient to come in straight with the end mill. So I came down a little bit and then I uh, changed, moved the milling attachment up and now I'm just gonna mill inward.
now that the one T slot is done, now I can actually take a real good measurement and take it to its final dimension on the squareness of it and then start coming down on the second T portion of it. Here I'm making sure that I take off the exact amount of metal to make both of those T's exactly the same. Even though the numbers say it should fit, it really doesn't. So I just put a little dye on it, a little dicom on there, and uh, rub it through there. And now I see the high spots, and now I start slowly filing them down. Took me about, oh, five or six tries at this, and then it was fitting nicely. Initially, I stuck in some index tooling here with some carbide in it. And uh, I, the stock that I'm going to try, it with, which is this aluminum that I poured in a soup can, it's an interrupted cut. So I make a couple of little light passes with that. And then, you can't, if you pay attention, you might be able to see it here, but I switched to a high speed steel. And that's what this is right here high speed steel and uh, go into the middle, see that I need to raise it up, set the center height, and uh, just want to check how this works out. This is an awesome addition to the lathe. Hi guys, I'd like to share a couple of lessons learned. Um, on the milling attachment on uh, the light Atlas 618, you can, you can do quite a bit of work. Just remember to take light cuts, take your time, measure, and you can really do some pretty accurate work. And once again, I've learned that no matter how accurately you measure and cut, that sometimes you still have to do some final fitting with some filing work. Turned out really well. Love the quick change tool post. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you on the next episode of Journey to Journeyman.